Peter lost to Peter Gader. 15-10 in the decider. And remember, Peter Gader is already out of this year's World uh, All England Championships. Now, Hidayat, born in Bangdong, 18 years of age, won his first Grand Prix tournament at the age of 15. My goodness me, that really is incredible. Won the Brunei Open, beating Dong Xiong, incidentally, in that final. So Fung Pamadi, well, matured badminton-wise with age. Really got better and better. In fact, in 96, had a wonderful year. Won three titles back to back. That really is incredible. The Hong Kong Open, the China Open, and then the Grand Prix Finals. And then after that, didn't win a title for two years. And then last year, back to form again. Three titles, the Chinese Taipei, the Korean, and the Swiss Open. But of course, we remember him last year, Anthony, for his performance in the World Championships. Silver medal in Copenhagen in those World Championships, losing to Sun Jun in the final. But it was that semi-final against Peter Gaeta Christensen that he won 15-14 in the deciding game. Decided not to set. And that, an indication of the character of this man. Quite definitely, he's got the experience on display today. He very is a very cool customer when he's on the court, very methodical, ready, plays the shuttle around into the spaces. And we've really got a battle here about the athleticism of the young Indonesian up against the experience and guile of the man from Chinese Taipei. So the umpire for this match, Graham Cooper of Surrey. And both these men very anxious for very different reasons to get through to the final, possibly Ladies the last real chance this for Fung Pamadi. All England Open men's singles semi-final. Between, on my left, Torpik Hidiat, Indonesia. <laughs> And on my right, Fung Pamadi, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Fung Pamadi to serve. Love all. Play. Fung Pamadi, nearest to us, gets this semi final underway. At the age of 32, his first ever All England semi final. <laughs> Incidentally, three times previously, a quarter-finalist here. Love. And it was in the quarter-final last year, which was the only other occasion that these two men have met. Nine, of course, Hidayat, so the winner on that occasion, Love obviously, because he went on to Three. reach the final. But the score, 15-5, 17-16. It was a good quarter-final last year, good encounter between these two men. Service so over. So, Anthony, what's One the real half. quality of Fung Pomadi? How is it that a player at the age of 32 can suddenly have so much success on the world stage? I think if we just look at the quality of his stroke production, really is exquisite the length that he hits and also his accuracy around the front of the court but one also thing he doesn't make a lot of errors the only thing he does lack which could be exposed today is just the raw speed and that's what Taufik Hidiat's got but one thing that Taufik's going to have to watch is the fact that Fung Pumadi gets an awful lot of shuttles back a lot more than expected you know, I would have said that one of this man's no, real two. qualities is his tactical awareness. He seems to think so much on court. I think when you do lack the raw pace that the new, younger generation have, you have to be a superb tactician in order to outmaneuver your opponent to create the space to play the winning shots. The danger, of course, of trying to smash across court. If your so opponent does reach it, to you leave yourself an awful lot of work to do. 
perfect example there. Fung Pamali happy just to play a backhand clear up. Taufik trying to finish the rally. Pamali reading it. Service over. Love two. Service over to Of love. course, for this young man from Indonesia, Anthony, the pressure's totally different this year. Last year he came here, there was no pressure at all. Nobody was expecting him to do well. And now, this Three, year, love. with Peter Gaeda having lost already, people are expecting him to produce the goods. Quite definitely, he starts the semi-final lineup today as favourite to go on and take the title. But also, what's changed in the last year as well is that he's now almost the leading light for the Indonesians. So he, when he came here last four, year, love. he still had former world champions playing alongside him, such as Herianto Arbi. Also, he had Malev Manaki, a few others last year that it perhaps wasn't expected. The, the weight of the nation wasn't on him. Now he is their leading singles player. So he's got to carry that burden with him as well. One, mm, very nicely done. One, four. Well, he does so well. He's very strong in the wrist. He's thought of having perhaps the best backhand in the game, but he shows that wrist strength there, taking the shuttle behind him and still creating a winning stroke. One, four. Again, showing the strength of the wrist. The angle to change the angle. All the power in badminton coming from the forearm rotating. You can see the racket head snapping round, generating the power into the shuttle. Level terms. One, three, four, four down. Yeah. Five, that really is a tremendous four. smash. Certainly, as we've seen, Taufik just upping the rate of winning shots played. Mali perhaps hasn't got that devastating weapon in order to finish the ra rallies quickly. He has to rely on his tactical awareness. Well, it seems that Fung Pamadi has lost his touch at the net. I think he's quite aware of the speed with which this young man can really get into the net quickly. What he's trying to do is trying to play it a little bit flatter, a little bit looser into court. And that isn't his natural game. He likes to try and play tight to the net. And it's just taking a little bit of time to adjust his rhythm. Service over. Run, run. Four, six. On all three occasions, she came up against the very evening competition with Mia Rodina. Please stop from China, Bong Xichao. Well, Fung Pomadi hasn't Service had the best over. of starts Six, to this four. year. The last 16 of both Chinese Taipei and Korea. His quality it looked to be in at least quarterfinals. Four, 
this time it's the patience being displayed so by the younger man. Four. Look how he forces Funk Mardi to turn his back to the net. That makes that shot so much more difficult and perhaps even a little bit of indecision. Yeah, it looks to me as if he's not quite sure what he's trying to do out there. He's, he's uh, looking a little bit bewildered at the moment. Certainly is. At the moment, he's getting out rallied, and his shots so towards the front of the court, Four, he's making a seven. lot of errors on, so it's then difficult to outmaneuver your opponent. And he also hasn't got that big smash in order to try and finish rallies quickly. So he's got to play himself into these rallies. rally for Fung Pamadi. Really forces Taufik into trying to play an almost impossible smash. If he was going for the cross court and it doesn't hit the line, Fung Pamadi would just stretch his arm out and play the block into the space. Well, there's no question he's got to improve his net play if he wants to win this semi-final. Far too loose. He might have actually tried to pull out of that cross-court net shot, saw Taufik encroaching Four. towards the net, but it was too late, couldn't then flick it over his net, over his head. Well, both the coaches there looking quite relaxed at the moment. That the Indonesian coach. Service over, five, seven. These two players, Anthony, probably the two of the calmest, coolest players on the circuit. They certainly are very mature in their approaches. You'd really expect that from Fumpamadi, but tremendous maturity shown by the youngster. Service over, seven, five. Yes, well long. Oh, that's brilliant. Wow. Did he act doing so well? to retrieve the smash. Certainly did. This cross-court angle from Pomadi, I thought, was going to be an outright winner. Not only does he get it back, he gets it back with control. Pomadi tries to scramble it back and can't get it into play. Service over. Five, eight. Oh, just hitting the top of the tape, but not going over. Just wide. Perhaps losing patience in the Service end. Over. But interesting Eight. that both players Five. so willing to work the rally. 
Well, I'm definitely quite surprised that Taufik wants to really try and extend these rallies at this stage of the game. It was just Fung Pamadi, the older man who just lost his patience, went perhaps for an outrageous slice to try and finish the rally. Well, Fung making Five, his opponent eight. there work an awful lot. Played him to the front, then pushed him to the back, brought him in again, certainly, into the back. Certainly did, and that's what makes that such a strange shot from Taufik. The previous rally, he was happy to play 10, 15 clears, keep the rallies extended. Then when he was off balance, then he went for the winner. So he might be a little bit confused as well as to his game plan. Five, eight. Oh, that's lovely. Six, Six sacrificing eight. power for placement. Look at that, absolutely on the line. Seven, eight. Oh, that's marvellous. Eight all. Once again, it's the chassis and the two-footed jump. Taufik trying to play those shuttles towards the back of the court with quite a bit of pace, so they're flat. So Kamadi gets the jump in to make the interception. Nine, so now back eight. into the lead from 5-8 down. Now 9-8 up. It's interesting, these last few rallies, Fung Pomadi has eight. obviously tried to keep the rallies a lot shorter, going for his winners earlier on. Certainly hasn't. He's gone for the winners in a way that he hasn't gone for outright pace and power. He's gone for placement and almost trying to get the shuttle as steep as he can to try and get a weak reply that has to go upwards from Taufik, therefore give himself a little bit more time. I'm not sure that shot was really on. A little over ambitious. Service so over. Eight. One of Eleven. Of six points there for Fung Pomadi. Short backhand serve. Obviously wanting the left. Nine, was waiting for it and then thundered down a big smash. Knows that Fung Pamadi hasn't got his full confidence at the front of the court, therefore can anticipate the lift to the back of the court. quite low but still managed to control the shuttle kept his racket side in made the kill look easy that is brilliant And that's what I mean by his tactical awareness. He'd really pressurised the forehand side, and then the winning shot directed down his opponent's backhand. Okay. 
12. Oh, I seem to miss Oh, that's a great rally again. 13, 10. Well, two points away now from this opening game. Neither player really showing any emotion at this stage. No, but he'll be annoyed with himself with that. And he's trying to put deception on the serve. Trying to look as if he was going to serve high. Not so much need in singles to hit a deceptive serve. Well, definitely, you're not against a player of Taufik's quality going to be able to play an outright winner. So, unless he was just trying to get Taufik a fraction late, but then capitalise on a slightly weaker shot, it really is imperative you get the shuttle into play. Service fault called. Service fault called. Service over. 13. Racket head too high. Malcolm Bannum from Lancashire, the service judge. Oh. What a reply. Highlights the composure of this young man. Service over. Just been service faulted. 10, 13. And unleashes a big cross court smash. from the backhand side, 13. flicking it across court. And the final smash down the line. The outright winner, absolutely tremendous. It's a wonderful cross court defensive shot. Amadi committed to going forwards for the straight one, then was under pressure. Well, it was almost 13, as if he had too 11. much time there. He knew his opponent was under pressure. There was no need, really, to make it that accurate. Stretch to the limit, but the quality on that final net shot from Taufik got it close to the tape and tumbling. That meant that Funkmari just lost control of his reply to the net. I do think the Indonesian, when he's defending on the backhand side, has been crossing, whipping the shuttle cross court quite often. I think Funkmari ought to perhaps look for that. Should do. We mentioned the strength 
in the wrist, especially on the backhand side, Taufik. That not only means from the back of the court, but also from that mid-court. The player is often committed to running in straight off an attacking smash. The cross-court is always a good option. Oh, it's on the line. Would you believe it? Big smash. You can see that he's jumping out around the head. Difficult to control the accuracy. Played it inside the line. That really was incredible. At this stage in the match. Wonderful. The angles he finds, look at the way he leaps in the air, hitting up into the shuttle. What makes the angle better also, not only the trajectory of the shuttle, but Funk Pumadi had lift, played his lift to the centre of the court to try and narrow any possible winning angles. Taufik Hidiat still found it. Service fault oh, called. It's been called service fault again. Service over. Once again, all. racket head too high. Well, it does look to be coming up a bit flat. Of course, the racket head has to be below the lowest part of the hand. Yes. That's landing in front of the base position of Taufik Hidiat. So game point for Fung Pomadi. what so often happens when you try and smash straight down the line from round the head position. Normally very patient, Funk Pumadi. I think a little bit of impatience on game point. Just trying to finish it a little bit too quickly. I think it was the right shot to attempt. I think there was probably a gap straight down the line. Takes his time. 13, 14. Nicely done. Brilliant anticipation. Service over. Bit of help from the net cord. And then an injection of pace to get into the front of the court. Second opportunity to close out this opening game. Over. He anticipates 13, the cross court 14. flick from Fung Pumadi. Wipe the court, and just the net cord, not only stopping the pace of the shuttle, but deflecting it back in towards court. Well, they had a close match last okay. year in this tournament in the quarter final stage. We've seen that again. <laughs>
tremendous. Made a big effort to attack every single shuttle in this rally. Got to the net early, had the option to just block or play cross court. Points. 14 all. So 14 all. And Fung Pomadi has elected to set to three points. I remember, he was the player in the World Championship semi final against Peter Gader in the deciding game. He said no setting straight through. And he won it 15 14. Okay. So he's got nerves of steel, that's for certain. Aggression 15, from the Indonesian. First the straight smash to get the weak block, then stepping in, drilling and cross court into the space. Service over, 14, 15. Fifteen all. Oh, going for a very steep angle on that smash. Maybe the inexperience trying to go for the winner too early on in the rally. Service over, 15 all. Both men feeling the pressure of the situation, really trying to get their attacking shots as steep as possible. That'll give them more time then to get into the front of the court and then have options by playing from the net. Five or six rallies have all 16, been about aggressive power 15. from Taufik. That time, the reverse slice took the pace off the shuttle. And now it's the Indonesian that has a game point. First game won by Torfik Hidayat. So that 17, winning 15. smash straight down the line. Of course, he had saved two game points at 14 13. His first game point, and he secures the opening game 17 15. So the number four seed, Torfik Hidayat of Indonesia. First game safely under his belt, 17-15. Second game, double play. Out. Service over, love all. A risk that perhaps after winning that such a close opening game that he might relax a little bit, Hidiat? That is always a possibility after such a tense opening game that you would think that the job's done. 
Fung Pamada is the kind of player that could try to capitalize on that situation. But I really have been impressed with the maturity of Hidiat. Those two service forks at the latter stages of the match. He just got on with the on with the game, didn't let it disturb him. And I don't think that he's the kind of player that will relax in such a big occasion. We think back to last year with Hidiat and his semi-final win over Paul Eric Hoyer Larson, the reigning Olympic champion. Again in that match, won a very close opening game and then actually ran away with it. It could always work the other way. He could actually relax and then start to really unleash some of those powerful shots. A relaxed arm lets you hit the shuttle harder, lets you play with more confidence around the front of the court. If he was relaxed, he would play with more confidence. That was certainly a Too confident long. rally. Certainly was. Played it as if it was going to go straight up the court. Waited for Fung Pamada to commit himself and then just clipped it cross court. beginning to dictate the pace. He's commanding the rallies. Certainly Three is. Love. Not only commanding the pace, but varying it so well. That time it was a half smash to draw Fung Pamadi wide and forwards in order to get the weak shot to make the easy kill. a little bit so loose. Over. Love three. Yeah. Mm, well, the light judge there changing his mind. First One, of all, indicated three. that it was out, then indicating that it was in. Of course, if any part of the shuttle touches any part of the line, the shuttle's deemed to be in. Yes, yeah, so it was a good call in the end. Just on the outside edge of the line. Service over. 3-1. But again, that highlights the maturity of Taufik. A call that perhaps he thought might have gone against him. Very next rally, focuses, gets the serve back. He does so well, he gets his arms into a press-up position, so he gets back and recovers. And then impatience from Fung Pamadi. Probably thought he won that rally on no. two separate occasions, and then went for a chance that wasn't there. Thank you, Toby. Yes. Thank you. Here's the dive, as you say, using the arms to push himself back up. What he also did so well was he kept his, his thighs and his body off the floor so he didn't get sweat on it. So if the rally continued, he wouldn't have to worry about the safety of his footwork. Yes, yeah, so if the court gets wet, it can Five, be very slippery one. and very dangerous to the players. Oh, 
That's brilliant. And I, I really think at the moment that Six, Hidiat one. is beginning to run away with this. I mean, what can Fung Pamadi do to change the momentum? It's a very difficult situation for Fung Pamadi. So I think Hidiat, after winning a close, long, drawn-out first game, knows that he's probably got the stamina over the much older man. He's 14 years younger, so he's quite happy and relaxed to play the shuttle around into the spaces. So Fung Pamadi has just got to work incredibly hard, trying to perhaps force the pace a little bit, because he's not going to outrun the youngster. Try and have that little phase of play where he clipped the shuttle down. And I think we just saw it in that rally. Seven, Made the error, one. but he was trying to force the pace a little bit more. But that's not his natural game. I mean, you're asking him to do something that's a little bit alien to him. That's right, but if he carries on the way he is now, then he's going to get wiped off the court in this second game, so it's worth trying something. Eight, one. Well, all departments of his game working for him now, Hidiat. Eight, one in the second game. Yes, hitting winners at will. Certainly is, and one thing that is difficult for Fung Pamadi is some rallies, Taufik's playing clears from that position or slow drop shots, and then the very next rally injects pace and plays a thunderous smash. So Fung Pamadi doesn't know where the shuttle's going. Service over. One, nine. I think we're almost at the stage of it's now or never, as far as Fung Pramadi is concerned. Two, nine. Yes. It's a lovely technique for returning that high serve. Very close call, but the way that Taufik gets behind the shuttle drives up with a two-footed jump into the path of the shuttle, allows him not only to hit, but also move forwards for the next shot. has Nine, definitely been two. won by the Indonesian. It's just there a fraction earlier. You can see that Fung Pamadi was taking that shuttle down near the lower level of the net. That makes it much more difficult to play an accurate shot, especially when you've got someone with the pace of the Indonesian opposite you, that if the shuttle goes a couple of inches above the net, it's going to be an easy winner. The first man to be introduced was Service over, 2-9. In 1997, they were up at the all of the championships. They've met their opponents six times over the last three years. Oh. In the last three well, he may have hit it wide, but he totally deceived his opponent there. He's so deceptive, he can hold that racket until the last possible moment. Good pick up off this reverse slice. He was going the wrong way. Clips the top of the tape. And despite the fact that Hidiak gave the shuttle a lot of height to play it accurately to the net, made the error. Oh. Well, the Indonesian calling for the mop once more. Still some. Moisture on the court surface there. Four, nine. Oh. 
Five, oh, nine. Just a couple more points, and Fung Pamadi will be right back in this game. All credit to Fung Pamadi. He's hung in with a few rallies. Coupled with a few errors from Hidiat going for outright winners. Finding his time well in that rally from Pomadi. And unusually for Fung Pomadi, the winning shot being one of just outright power. Not really concerned with the accuracy of the shot. Oh, he's missed another one. Seven, nine. That's three or four errors now. And those have allowed his opponent right back in. Brilliant. Lovely Eight, singles nine. tactic, keeps his racket side in. And then it's just one quick, fast jump in to brush the shuttle off. Now just one point, the deficit. Having been 9-1 down. <laughs> yes, he's back on level terms. Nine all. And Anthony, that really is an incredible fight back. Certainly is, but a combination of Fung Pamadi's good play eradicated his errors. But I think at 9 1 up, Taufik thought he was already in the final, started going for a few too many winners, made the errors. And against a player such as Fung Pamadi, who never gives up, it really is now a desperate Ten, situation for nine. the Indonesian to try to get the momentum back. Because once you've thrown away a lead like that, the difficult bit is then trying to get the momentum going back your way. Uh, it's just extraordinary to me how dramatically 11, this game has changed. Nine. Again, that was just a scrambled defensive shot from Fung Pamadi. Taufi thinking it was an outright winner forgetting that he was in a match. Oh, it's just wide. Such so an opportunity. 9-11. Yes. Well, it pulled the Indonesian out of position. Yes, good call. It was just wide. Thank you, Good kick, Idiot really taking his time in between rallies. Is this just to recompose his thoughts, or is he tired? I can't believe that he is physically tired. A lot of these rallies have been quite quick that he's given away. I think it is a fact that he's a little bit shell-shocked at the situation he's in, that he has managed to throw air lead. So I think he's just taking a little bit of time to recompose his thoughts. Oh, wonderful shot. The disguise on that. Service on Rushing line. across 11, the nine. shuttle. Look at this. Taking the pace off it. Just wide. Service over, 9-11. Now, very important.
important for Hidayat to add to his score here. Yes. And that's the sort of rally that he was playing at the beginning of this game, controlling it as soon as he had the opportunity, injecting the pace. Yes, quickly. Okay. So one point the margin. certainly was the whipped cross-court backhand we saw at the end of the opening game. Again, working for Taufik, just waiting for the shuttle, driving it cross-court into the space. Interesting tactic in the middle so of that so game, right. middle of that four. point rather. Smashing the shuttle directly at Fung Pomadi. Rally. 12, 11. Certainly was. He managed to maintain the attack and the initiative and then just sensed that Taufik was slow to recover back to base and went with the injection of pace for the winning shot. Taufik, please. Taufik. Well, the umpire, Graham Cooper. Asking the Indonesian to get ready a little bit quicker. <laughs> That's superb. Service over. Same record action for the net shot. This time, just flicks the wrist through, drives it cross court into the space. The shuttle was much quicker there. Certainly was. Got into position. Well, I think he's aware of just how important that was. Yes, so was his coach. He was 
was in all sorts of trouble earlier on in that rally. And then finds 14, a winning shot point, like that. 12. You can tell the quality of the winning smash. A scrambler like Fung Pamadi didn't even move in the direction to try and retrieve it. Completely deceived. And him. So the court will need some attention here. The perspiration having dripped down onto the court surface. And the Indonesian fans urging this 18-year-old on. One more point for a second consecutive All England final. Well, the reason it was such a great match was because Fung Pomadi played his part. The 32-year-old, in the end, just not enough answers to this youngster. This, the final.